Hi, I'm Jonathan Deutsch, and I'd like to show a quick tutorial of using Tumult Pipe to animate a path reveal. Um, the end goal is to produce an animation um, that reveals the path and also has an object kind of moving along the path. So ultimately, it will look like this. Uh, so Tumult Height does not have the ability right now to um, draw Bezier paths or do complex shapes. So we're going to need to first um, create such a path in a different application. So I'll go ahead and sketch, um, create maybe a vector shape of what we want. We'll do something like this. Um, and now I'll just make it stand out. So I'll change the color, make it blue, um, maybe increase the thickness a little bit like so. And so now we have our basic shape. Uh, we can go ahead and make this exportable. I'm just going to do a 1x ping for simplicity. Um, and we'll go ahead and save this. Now let's go into hype. Uh, I can close the final document. And the first thing we're going to want to do is import that image from Sketch. So I'll go ahead and import it, and you can see there it is. Um, the nice thing is if you ever want to make changes in Sketch, let's say maybe um, change the color or do something like that and re-export um, when you go back into Hype, picks it up pretty easily, so it's um, you know easy to work with Sketch and without Sketch. So the first thing that we're going to want to do um, is maybe animate the ball moving around the path, because we have the path here. That's a pretty easy animation to do. So I can go ahead and create an ellipse. So I'll not have a border on it, change the color so it um, matches, and maybe change the size. And so while Hype doesn't animate um, or while Hype doesn't have Bezier shapes, it can animate um, along a shape. So I can do that. I'm just going to make the opacity um, uh, slightly lighter to begin with, just so you can see it. And so now I'm going to hit record. Maybe I'll make this be a two second animation, go from point A um, to point B, like so. And now what I can do is actually I can take this path and I can pretty much shape it. Um, exactly how I want, and you know, I'm just doing kind of ad hoc job right here. Um, but that'll that'll basically um, match. So maybe if I, you know, change change some of the curves a little bit, I'll be able to get it a little more precise. And so now you can see um, that the ball is kind of going along the path. You can see that in Safari? That looks good. And so the next thing I want to do is the path reveal. So now I'm going to hide this animation. And what I want to do is have this path um, draw in. So the easiest way to do this is to insert the path inside of a group. And what you can do on the group is set the content overflow property to be hidden, which means anything outside the group is not going to show up. So now if I change the bounds of the group, you can see um, like anything outside isn't, isn't going to show up, and that line is actually inside, so it's not going to show up. Um, so the, the first thing you need to do is take note that the um, width is 362 pixels. And so we're going to animate the width of this group to be go from 0 to 362. Um, so quite simply, I will type the 0 here, hit record, go there, and type 362. And so now we can see... Um, the path is actually being revealed. And it's not revealing along the path, but it's you know close enough where this affects. So that's pretty good. Um, and so if I preview this in the browser, you can see, yeah, that, that looks good. I can re-enable the circle, and now I get the whole effect. And you can see there is a little bit of tearing there and things like that. Um, if I want, I could you know maybe change the position of the ball a little bit um, so it doesn't you know, go quite quite ahead, and now there shouldn't be any like real tearing. And, and so you have the basic effect that you want right there. Um, and so that's a pretty simple one. Um, now the question is, how, how do you do this in reverse? Because reverse is actually an interesting case. So let me make a new document and, and show the reverse case on how to do that, because you do have to do reverse a little bit differently. So I'll go ahead and insert the image. I'll make the shape. And I'm just going to do the path reveal. I'm not going to do the ball on this one. So I'll set this in a group. And again, I'll set the overflow to hidden. Um, and you can see that actually looks pretty good when you're doing things like that. 
Um, so you would think you would you would do the same thing, but in reality you don't. And let me explain why. So I'm I'm going to leave a little bit of the image there. Um, ultimately, you'd probably set that to be um, a zero width. So set it as 24. Um, and and so what I'll do here is I'm going to hit the record button, and now I'm going to um, move this like so to reveal it. Um, and one thing you'll notice is it's not just the width that's changing, um, it's also the left position. And this is because everything in Hype animates from the top and left. So if you are animating something that kind of goes from the um, right to left direction, you, you also actually need to animate the left bounds of the box. And so you can see as this is animating, it's both getting wider and, and the left position is changing as well. And you can see that the problem is that um, inside the group, the, the shape is still um, kind of at the one zero pixel coordinate where really zero zero is, I think, you know, what it, what it implies. And so now the shape is actually moving alongside and you, and you don't want that because you want it to be a reveal just from left and right. So you actually need to um, kind of do the reverse animation on the shape inside the group. So what we would first do is um, move the shape and I'm just gonna use the arrow keys so I can, I can get this how I want. So I'll have the shape here, um, and then I'll want to animate the shape going in the reverse direction. Um, so wherever it is, it needs to end basically at zero. And so now I'll do it that way. Um, and so now you can see the shape is animating from left to right. So that, that's how you would do it if you want to animate in the opposite direction. And the same is if you're going from uh, top to bottom or bottom to top, you need to do the same technique. Of course, you can always you know, if you have an animation like this that's simple, you can always group this, um, and, you know, if you wanted to go from top to bottom or something, you can, you know, very simply rotate it, and you get the same effect. Alternatively, if you just wanted to flip this, you could do a technique where you rotate on the um, Y angle 180 degrees, and that's effectively a flip. Um, of course, your motion path is now reversed, so it's not the same motion path. Um, and also, this doesn't work with all browsers, but that's a really easy way um, if you just want to animate something going from the other direction also is to, to do a flip. So that's the effect of animating on a, on a path. It won't get you, you know, all the way for very complex shapes, but for a lot of cases you can do it. And if you want to be creative, you can also, you know, maybe break up your shape into multiple parts and do some this way. You know, if your path extends up, you can do, you know, a bottom to top one and, and go around. So there's all kinds of different techniques where even if Hype doesn't specifically have the tools, you can get creative and still get the effect that you want to animate. So that has been um, the quick tutorial on animating um, a path reveal.